One of the things that we like about the 2-2-2 or Deuce's offense is that it allows us to space ourselves uh, in a way that gives us good dodging lanes from all four corners. Um, so typically, you'll have two players behind, two players in the crease area, and two players out top. So whereas we are working uh, in a, in a six-man unit, the great thing about the 2-2-2 or Deuce's offense is that we are able to work in three sets of pairs. And those would be our two behind players, our two players inside, and our two players out front. All right, let's go. Let's start up top. Go ahead, Nick. Hard dodge. Go side to side. Go ahead. Talk. Dodge. Shot. Go ahead, Duncan, quick, or whoever. Hurry up. Dodge. We can keep doing it both ways. Be ready. Get up to that 7-7. Seven, seven. Finish. Hard. Low and away. Good. Good shot. Turn the shoulder. Let's make sure, guys, we're dodging hard. Turn your shoulders. Nick, you need to turn the shoulders, run up sideways while they're taking a the ball from you, okay? Realistic. Good shots. Shoot across the cage. Hard dodge. Get deep in the dodge. Good. Get up here and finish. Another step. Talk to him. Catch that ball on the run. Hard dodge. North south. Let's make sure when we're dodging middies, we're going right down the pipes, okay? Get it to X. Good, and finish. Guys are too tight, do it right. Get your spacing, balance the field. Okay, hold on one second. Guys, remember, in the 2-2-2, two, 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 the two guys behind, the two guys up top, you guys are working together, you're working together behind, you work together in the middle, but it's a push-pull. You move with each other. So as Nick dodges, he's pulling Zach with him to the middle, okay? You need to stay and balance the field, shorten up the passing lanes. It's one of the things we're working on here, okay? Make sure you're working together in twos. Go ahead. This is, again, a good drill to get these two guys working together, balancing the field, working on a couple concepts, you know, teaching them to follow, teaching them to throw the ball against pressure, teaching them to dodge hard, and starting to teach them to work in twos together, understanding the spacing, and you're still doing some stick work while you're doing this drill. Okay, pay attention. Now we're going to put all the three parts together. We're going to play live six on six. Make sure that we're balancing the field. We got our three two-man games going on. Okay, make sure we're reading the defensemen. Make sure we put together all the little things that we've done in these build-up drills. Okay, what we're going to add to this, though, is the offensive or the defensive team, when the ball is turned over, I want you getting down to that end of the field as fast as you can, and you have 10 seconds to take a shot. You got it? Then we come back here and play six on six. So what we want to do now, guys, is just pull together all of the little two-man games that we've worked on, and let's see what it looks like now when everybody's together playing in a six on six. You got it? Any questions on that? Okay, ball's up top. We're going to go with quick restarts and play. What we're going to do now is we're going to put it all together. Again, all these parts... They don't usually happen in one day of practice. You can use them through a couple of weeks in order to pull it all together and then put your six on six together. You know, this team's been doing this and running it for a little bit, so it's easy to get it all done in a one day period. But if you notice and you just take a look, the inside guys are working together. Here we have our three two man games going, working on all our principles, keeping spacing. And if you watch closely, you're going to see all of the things we've done in the breakdowns coming together in the full six on six.
Very nice. Hey, Corey, let's try to stay inside a little bit more on this just for the, uh, for the sake of what we're doing today, okay? That's a good pop, okay? But let's try to stay inside a little bit. At the same time, you're utilizing your offense, and we're going to push the ball down to the other end of the field as fast as we can with our defensive middies. Just try to add a little something more to this part of the practice. Remember, it's important to work both sides of the ball at the same time. You can have both of your coaches down on this one end watching the offense and the defense, and when the ball transitions to the other end, you can follow it. Quit turning your back, Will. Nice cut. Ah, uh, Kevin, get it out of your stick. Too long. Let's go, get it out and up. Get it out, and, come on, Joe. Gotta find somebody. Keep going, keep going. Down the side, down the side. Good, move it, move it. What we do is we just rotate the groups through. One group goes on offense, next group goes on offense. It's a nice drill, too, to be able to rotate your guys from offense to defense and let them give them an opportunity to work at both ends. Um, you can pop a little bit off the dodges, but when the ball's behind, um, give me the double cuts and stuff, okay? We're going to start again right from the top. And again, if you can watch and you focus, the two middies up top work together as we did in our two-on-two -two drill. The two attackmen, the two attackmen behind are going to work together as we did on the two-on-two -two drill. And the inside guys will be working together as we did in the shooting drill and the suicide, excuse me, and the survivor drill. Notice the balance that they follow. It's push-pull, two men working together. Reset, you're good. Reset. Let's set some picks, guys. Use the two-man game. We want to make sure that we focus on getting them to use the two-man game. Okay, they're using every, every part of what they do. There's a clear through, which they're supposed to do, as you saw in the four-on-four -four drill. Ball goes behind. Again, you see another clear through and exchange up top to allow the attackman to dodge. There's a pick and a roll. Good. Skip to behind. Reverse the field. Cutter. Perfect. Good job, guys. That's better. That's better. I need the attackman to use the two-man games, guys. All right, we've been working on it. Use it. Again, a little two-man game to start the offense behind. Got to get out of here on the top, and they clear. Good. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Same 2-2-2 two, two, two drill we did in shooting. Get to 7-7, seven and, seven and he throws back. Dodge from up top. Other midi follows. Notice the balance, it's a 2-2-2, two, 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 but the guys move down to the wings to, to shorten up the passing lanes. We're not throwing 25-yard passes. Oh, very nice, very nice, good ball movement there. Get it out, Mike. big part of this is getting guys to understand and nice part of a 2-2-2 two, two, two is it's not scripted and when you're playing out of a 2-2-2 two, 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 a lot of different things can happen depending on what the defense does and what you what happens when you originally dodge so the idea of these two-man games and just playing run through it 
There you go, move it. The idea of the two-man games in the beginning and then putting it together in this progression allows your guys to learn how to read different situations. Just relax on the dodge, all right? Relax. Nice catch, Nick. Oh, that's a good shot, Kevin. It's a way to be patient. Come on, D. Nick, it's not his fault you can't catch. Let's go. Balance the field. Get higher, Nick. Nick, relax. You're moving for no reason. Again, got to be patient off the ball. It's not about just constant movements, it's about patience and reading. Give me some picks up top. Let me see some two man game. Let me see some two man game. Here you go. You got the regular pick and roll. Good. Gives you, starts a little something off for you, starts the offense, makes the defense react. There's the balance. Back to the middle of the field. Bring it. Guys, you got to balance the field up top a little better. He's got to be in a spot. Let's go. Let's go. Play it. Play it. Play it. Good. That's nice. What you saw in that last sequence is that you get a lot of other things out of this drill because if you continue to ride, you know, now you get into a next part of the offense. We picked up a ground ball off a ride and we got into an unsettled situation. It's important to try not to blow the whistle in these drills and let the offense play itself out because it becomes more of a game-like situation for you. Nice cut, Kevin. Good luck. Come on, you guys got to get underneath there. Communicate. Whenever we do these half field six on six drills, we like to make it so we're taking the ball to the other end of the field. It doesn't take much time. It allows you to play on the other end of the field and it makes it much more realistic. And it allows you to, to have the flow of the game going back and forth. Get out of there, Sal. Good. Hopefully as you watch this, you can see all, all the three parts that we worked on starting to work together and come together. And again, the only way this happens is by doing those other drills over and over and over again so the repetition becomes second nature and that they just do it and they start to flow.